I have the Nintendo Switch and in today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to connect it to a TV or a monitor. Now for this one, you're gonna need the dock. Now, not only do you need the dock, you also need the HDMI cable. And fortunately, there's one that comes in the box. And then you also need a charging brick, okay? So there's also a charger, which you're going to need. And this also comes in the box, okay? So before we go to the TV, let's go ahead and set up the dock. And to set up the dock, all you have to do is, uh, let's put away the switch. And here's the dock, okay? So we're gonna go to the back of the dock and set up our cables. So just uh, remove the cover. Like that, it's a simple process. And in here, you should see the AC adapter. That's why you plug in the charger and then you have HDMI out. This is where you plug in the cable and the other end of the HDMI cable goes into the TV. And then if you have a LAN cable, you can connect it here for wired internet. But we're just going to use Wi-Fi for today. So uh, let's go ahead and put in the cables. We're going to start with power. So let's plug that in there like that. And then let's take the HDMI cable. And plug that in there as well. And then you're going to route all these cables from here. This this little space for cable management. So that's where all the cables will pass. So that you can put your cover back. Like that. And now the dock is ready. Okay. So this other end of the power cable goes into a power outlet. And the other end of the HDMI cable goes into the TV. Right. So let's go ahead and set those up first. So I have the dock here. As you can see, it's right here. And then you have this HDMI cable plugged into the TV. And then you have the power cable plugged into my power source right down here. So the next thing is to pick up the uh, switch. And then remove the Joy-Cons. And then now let's slot the switch into the dock. Now, obviously, this is the back side of uh, the dock. The dock should be facing this way. Okay. The cables are at the back, so this is the front of the dock, and this is how you place the uh, switch. So let's place it in there until it gets into the Type C connector in there, and once it gets connected, your TV should automatically detect the device. Now, if it doesn't, you can just switch manually to the HDMI port that has your Nintendo Switch. So let's just wait for this to finish. And of course, the Joy-Cons are connected because you can see that light there and you can use them to control the Nintendo Switch. Now, if it's the first time, it might take a while, uh, depending on what's happening or whether the dock will start updating. But then, as you can see, my device has been detected. And now let's navigate to the Switch. I'm going to place it there and then I have my Nintendo Switch and I can just switch to the HDMI port that has that Nintendo Switch. And there you go. So there's the Nintendo Switch connected, ready to go. And I can now use my Joy-Cons to navigate, as you can see. I can play games, do whatever I need to do using the Joy-Cons, okay? Let's try and launch a game. So 
so it's my first time so i need to agree to this i've never played this game so let's go ahead and get through the beginning process and there you go so there is asphalt legends on my nintendo switch playing it on my samsung smart tv and you can do this literally on any tv thanks for watching leave your comments and questions down below and good luck